We've heard me talk uh, many times on the program uh, about Macquarie stem cells and uh, obviously uh, Dr. Ralph Bright, Macquarie stem cells, our response to this program, but we thought, thought we should find out more about the process. Now, you hear me talk about the treatment of osteoarthritis and that affects many of you listening to me. I mean, one in 11 Australians. And I can't imagine how difficult it would be to live with chronic pain. I mean, I can't deal with a headache, let alone having constant pain, whether it be uh, in your hands, your wrists, in your knees. And plenty of you listening to me tonight would have to experience that on a daily basis. Stiffness, restricted function, it's just not good. And to go and have a full knee reconstruction is something that is a major operation. Now, I've spoken to Dr. Ralph Bright off air. He's, a, he's got an ambition that people in the future won't have to have a mechanical knee replacement. We thought we'd get him in to have a chat. He's, a, of course, a physician and cosmetic surgeon at Macquarie Stem Cells. He's in the studio. Great to finally eyeball you. Thanks, Steve, and lovely to be here. When someone comes and sees you and says, I've got chronic pain, clearly you are a sympathetic ear. Uh, that must be an awful thing to live with. Absolutely it is, and, and it, it's terrible that it robs people of so much of their lives. You know, you can't get on, you can't play with your grandchildren, you can't walk across the park, you can, just so many things that restrict you, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just not nice. Is it, um, you've never suffered from chronic pain yourself? I have um, regular pain in my back from bending over an operating table all the time, but apart from that, I've not had that terrible infliction that people have where they can't sleep at night and... Yeah, well, you spend a lot of time on your feet, so you, you, you're you able to have a, a dodgy back. Uh, I once had a carpal tunnel operation on my right wrist, and the pain from that, which was, as you would know as a surgeon, a tightening of that nerve that runs down through your wrist and into your hand, it was so bad, the only way I could relieve it, and, and it, thank God it only lasted a few weeks till I went and got it operated on, I had to go and walk around the block at 2 right. o'clock in the morning. It's mm. awful. Awful. Yes, that's totally totally invasive. Very, very disabling. So, what are we talking about here? The um, what what is the biological treatment that you're talking about? Basically, what we're doing is we're we're using your own cells to heal yourself. So we're simply taking them from one part of your body and putting them into another part, which wakes them up and allows them to start to do the things that they naturally do, which is to heal the tissues that are damaged. So where are you taking uh, the material from on my body? So I present to you and I've got chronic osteoarthritis and I, I say, look, I think that stem cells for me, uh, I want to go through with the procedure. What do you then say? What I'm looking for is basically I'm looking for some fat and it can be anywhere in your body. Plenty on me. You won't have a problem finding that. So we go to those areas that have got the largest depots that are the easiest to harvest and, and that's where we take it from. Where would that no most normally be? Most people it will either be in the abdomen or in the love handles. So you extract that material uh, and then you, re you, you extract from that the stem cells and then in, in your procedure, you then inject that back into the body. Is that how it works? That's correct. And w tell me about why this works. I and mean, it doesn't work for everyone, does it? No, it doesn't. And we're working on finding out why it doesn't work. I want to ask you about that in a moment. But how does it, when it does work, how come it works? The natural role of these cells is to heal and regenerate the tissues that they're living in. And these cells are found in every tissue of your body. We just go to fat because it has such a wonderful supply of them, and it's one of those few places in your body where you're happy to give it, give away some of your tissue. Is it a particularly in invasive procedure? It's a, it's a minor surgical procedure. It's not a big procedure, but it's still a surgical procedure, so we still need to do all the things correctly. But it's a, it's, it's, it's a very simple task. We can do it with you wide awake or we can give you a little bit of sedation if you're a bit worried. But it's a very straightforward thing to do. The, the surgical process takes about 20 minutes. So it's relatively quick to harvest the fat. We're talking to Dr. Ralph Bright from Macquarie Stem Cells. So this, this procedure happens all at once. So it's not like you harvest from the fatty part of the body Take the, take it away, and then I come back again. It all happens at one in one it, procedure. Yes, that's right. It all happens in the one location. Harvest the fat. You we then put you into recovery when you can look at the ceiling, read a book, watch TV, and while you are there. 
the fat will then be broken down. We can throw the fat away, keep all of the other cells which we need, which will be doing the repair for you, and then we can clean them up, count them, and put them into syringes ready to be injected into the various parts of your body that need to be injected. And what pain problems can this help to solve? I mean, we talk osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis for people who don't know? Osteoarthritis is when you get that inflammation and the the cartilage on the surface of your bones gets worn down and can be, in fact, totally worn out so that you're walking bone on bone. Well, that'd be dreadful. Yes, it is very painful, very debilitating. And with that, of course, you get the stiffness and, and you get the inability to, to move your joints in the way you want. Is it mainly knee uh, or hips, ankles, hands? What is it? You've gone right to the most common ones. Knees are far and away the most common, followed by hips, and then probably backs, and then you get into the other smaller joints, the fingers and the toes and the... So if I'm, uh, if I'm having this procedure and uh, I've got a dodgy knee, and that's the, the principal area that we're trying to, to fix, uh, are you going to use the cells that you extract uh, to put into my other joints just as an insurance so that down the track uh, I don't get you know bad wrists or bad hips? We wouldn't inject directly into the joint unless there's a problem in the joint. Okay, so unless I've got a problem, you say don't do it. That's right. But what we will do is to give you some intravenous cells, and when we put those cells into a vein, they will then travel all around your body, and they will be attracted to anywhere in your body that's inflamed. I mentioned that you uh, are doing some research because... uh, as you've said right off the top, this doesn't this procedure doesn't suit everybody. So you're doing putting a lot of time and effort and money into research to get a test developed that will be able to be used to tell whether it will or won't work. Is that what you're trying to do? That's correct. And and that that's the first goal is to find a what's called a biomarker or a simple test which we can then run and it will predict whether you should have the treatment or not. And if you're not going to respond, then we tell you, sorry, we can't do it for you. But if it does respond, hopefully we'll also be able to tell you how much improvement you'll get. The importance of that, of course, is that there have been people who've had the procedure and it doesn't work. And clearly, if you're going to go through with this, you would want it to work. And when it doesn't, you wouldn't be very happy. Very, very disappointed. Not only the patient's unhappy, but I'm very unhappy too. It's it's very upsetting when you, when you have people who are in so much pain and... You just can't help them, and, and, and it's, it's just it's really, really hard. I know uh, professionals like you don't go on gut feeling, but what is your gut feeling about why it works on some people and not others? It looks, from the work that we've done so far, to be a g- difference in the genetic expression. So some people's genes are either turned off or too much turned on, And that combination of some genes being turned off, some genes being turned on, seems to give us the pattern that we're looking for that will allow us to predict who's going to respond. And of course, once we know exactly which ones they are, we can look at the pathway and then we can say, well, how can we modify that pathway to change what's not working and hopefully make it work so that we can take a non-responder and turn them into a super-responder? If you get this biomarker developed, I mean, it's going to uh, save a a lot of people a lot of inconvenience. I mean, a a knee replacement is a major procedure, right? It is a major procedure. And a hip. And they do it very well these days. But But it's it's a big operation. It's still a big operation. with And they don't last forever. Well, that's true too. Yeah. I mean, so if if we could eliminate the the need for that sort of procedure, that would be wonderful for people. There is no doubt that we will dramatically reduce the number of people needing joint replacements. As I said, not everyone responds, so we won't be able to replace it for everybody, but there will be a dramatic decrease in the number of people who will need to have total joint replacements. And of course, I should remind everybody, uh, if you'd like to know more, uh, we've given you the website for Dr. Bright and his team at Macquarie Stem Cells. They can send you some information. They've got a phone number, 98243044. But Macquarie Stem Cells, we should reiterate, uses your own biological process, but it is a, a surgical procedure, so you do actually need to get a second opinion.